Welcome to the Envision Project 2.0 video demonstration. This video is aimed at giving you a quick overview to get you started using the new graphical commissioning approach using Envision Project. Today I'm going to show you how to commission your project using this graphical plan view in the physical tab. Before you start, you will need EP 2.0 or higher, as well as a reflected ceiling plan which can be a JPEG, a WMF, an EMF, a PNG, a BMP, a TIFF or a GIF. Along with this video tutorial is a quick start guide which you can view from the help file in EP or you can obtain from us directly. Okay, let's get started. Open Envision Project. Today we are going to create a new project. I have connected my training case to EP using a PC node, but you will notice that for now I am not connected. The purpose for that is to show you that we can do a lot of this pre-commissioning offline. This means that you don't have to be on a dusty work site to do a lot of this work, but you can do it from the comfort of your own office. We'll do as much as we can offline, and then we'll go online when needed. Step 1. Adding an image. OK, I'm on the physical tab. I have the show floor plan window selected, so the view is exactly like what we see here. The first thing that I want to do today is import a floor plan into Envision Project. Click on the background image icon and select Select Background Image. Browse to your image file. The image is inserted into the project and I can use the scroll on my mouse to zoom in and out or I can use the slider in EP to do the same thing. Step 2. Adding fixtures. Up on the toolbar here, I'm going to click on the round lamp icon. For me, that matches what I have in my training case nicely. If you have a square or rectangular lamps in your project, you can choose those icons to the right. So I'll click on round lamp and then click on each round lamp that exists on my floor plan to drop it into my project. Drawing the fixture groups. OK, now we want to draw the fixture groups. On the toolbar, select the dotted line icon from the drop down menu and select Draw Fixture Group. I want my lines to be straight, so I'm going to untick the Draw Curved Lines option. Now, in the storeroom here, we have two down lights physically connected, so I'm going to draw a line from the first round lamp to the second. The process is to click once on the first lamp, then double click when you want the fixture group to end. Repeat this process for the entire project. Click on each lamp you want in a fixture group, then double click to end that fixture group. Step 4. Creating areas. Right, now we're going to create areas around our channels. Select the Draw Rectangular Region icon from the toolbar. From the drop-down, select Draw Area Region. Click on the area you want to create and drag the rectangle out to the correct sizing by holding your left mouse button down. Release the mouse button to complete the area creation. A window will open to prompt you to name the area so give it a logical name and click OK. Repeat this for all of your areas. Here, now you can see that I have an area which is not rectangular. Simply click on the Draw Polygon Region icon and create your area manually. I have clicked once to start my polygon, then clicked on each of the corners where I want the perimeter to be, then I double click back on the start to complete my area. Name your area when prompted, and repeat for all of the areas in your project. 
Step five, connecting to the network. Okay, we have done all of this pre-commissioning offline, so now it's time to connect our project to our network. I'll click on the show configuration window, then connection settings. Please note, I have my PC node physically connected to my laptop and I'm plugged into my training case. I'll click configure to manually connect and select COM3 as that is where my PC node is connected here. Click okay and away we go. I'll just click on the network log so I can see my network traffic too. Notice that I am still on the physical tab here, and from here I am going to scan the network for my devices. Click on Insert Devices from Network. Today I'll search for devices by product type. I know that I have two load controllers and two panels in my training case, so I'll search for the load controllers first. I found my two load controllers so I can stop that search now and I'll click on add devices. Now I'll search for my panels and add them too. Step 6. Creating a distribution board. Right click on your plan and select add distribution board. Select new distribution board and name the distribution board. Now I'm going to drag and drop the load controllers that will physically live on that distribution board. Now you can drag and drop the whole DB onto your plan view where it lives in the real world physically. Step 7. Flashing your channels. In my physical tab, I have opened up each load controller to see all of the channels. Start with channel 1 and click on the flash icon. You can see now in our project, I can see the storeroom lights flashing in real life. Name that channel something logical so you know what it is in your project. I've called it store. Now drag and drop it onto your plan in the correct area and the channel location. Let's repeat that. Okay, now if you want to use the auto flash function, you can do this process without having to click flash each time. Click auto flash. Look for the relevant lights flashing in your project, rename the channel to something logical and then drag it over into the correct area and channel. Repeat for all of the channels on both of the load controllers. You'll notice that once you have assigned the physical channels to the logical areas, you'll see the status icon appear. Step 8. Download to devices. Okay, let's download all of this information to our devices by clicking on download to devices. Let's do that for both load controllers. You'll notice that the pen and paper icon disappears when you have done that. Okay, let's jump over to our logical view and see what's been created. Here, all of our areas and channels are automatically created from when we configured our project using plan view. Let's look at what I've done. Area 14 there looks like I have misnaming it. Let's flash that area and see what I should have called it. We can see that the waiting room area is flashing in both EP and my case. I can now rename area 14. The next thing that I want to check is that I have assigned all of the physical channels to the correct logical area. To do this, I can use the virtual panel on the toolbar to send an area zero preset four message to turn all of our areas off. I can see in my case that all of the lights are off now. 
Okay, now I can click on each area and click flash just to do a final check that I have done this correctly. What I should see is the correct area flashing on both EP and the case. Okay, here in area 14, I have accidentally dropped one of the channels into the wrong area. I can simply open up the area and flash each channel to work out what is what, then drag and drop it to the correct area like so. That's a very quick demonstration on plan view. There are many more features in which you can use, but I hope this is a jump start to get you going with the new tab in Envision project. Of course, if you prefer the original method of commissioning, that is always available to use as per normal. Thanks for taking the time to view this demonstration and we'll see you next time.